This video is for educational purposes only. We do not condone or encourage any illegal activities. Hackers can use your number to track, learn about, and even harm you. Today, we'll break down how these attacks happen. We'll look at real-life examples, common tactics used by cybercriminals, and practical steps you can take to stay one step ahead. Let's dive in. Your WhatsApp number isn't just a contact in your phone book or a way for friends and family to reach you. It's much more than a simple string of digits you hand out casually. It's a key to your digital identity, unlocking access to a surprising amount of personal information and online services. We use it everywhere, signing up for social media accounts, verifying our identity for online banking, and even when shopping online or registering for loyalty programs. Your WhatsApp number is often the gateway to your entire online presence. Each time you share it, whether with a new app, a website, or even a new acquaintance, you create a new link back to yourself. Every connection increases your digital footprint. Hackers and cyber criminals see your number as a starting point, a thread they can pull to unravel more about you. With just your number, they can attempt phishing, social engineering, or even identity theft. Your WhatsApp profile photo, status updates, and last seen information can reveal more than you might realize. These small details, when pieced together, can paint a surprisingly detailed picture of your life. A photo can be reverse searched, potentially exposing your other social media profiles, locations you've visited, or even your workplace. Your status might give away your daily routines, travel plans, or personal interests, information that can be misused if it falls into the wrong hands. And your last seen status can hint at your sleeping patterns, work hours, or when you're most active online, offering clues to your habits and lifestyle. All these details, when combined, help build a comprehensive digital profile on you, sometimes more detailed than you'd ever expect. That's why you should treat your phone number with the same caution and care as your home address or your house keys. It's a direct link to your private world. The convenience of using one number for everything is undeniable, but it comes with real risks. The more places your number exists, the more vulnerable you become to scams, spam, and privacy breaches. The most common attack in the digital world isn't a technical one, it's psychological. This method is known as social engineering, and it's a tactic that preys on human nature rather than computer code. Instead of hacking into systems, attackers hack into your mind, using manipulation and deception to get what they want. Hackers and scammers use social engineering to manipulate your trust, tricking you into revealing sensitive information or taking actions that compromise your security. They know that technology can be protected, but people are often the weakest link. These attackers might pretend to be your bank, a delivery service, or even a government agency. They'll send urgent messages, warning you of suspicious activity or missed deliveries, and urge you to click a link or share your personal details. The messages are designed to create panic or urgency, making you act before you think. Another common trick is the wrong number scam. Here, a stranger starts a friendly conversation, pretending it was a mistake. Over time, they build rapport and trust, slowly extracting personal information from you without you even realizing it. Sometimes, the scammer will impersonate a friend or family member in distress, claiming they need money urgently or require sensitive data to solve a problem. These messages are crafted to tug at your heartstrings and bypass your skepticism. These tactics work because they prey on our natural desire to help others and to respond quickly in emergencies. Social engineers exploit kindness, empathy, and even fear to get what they want. The real danger of social engineering is that it feels personal and convincing. The messages are tailored to you, using information from your social media or public profiles to make them seem legitimate. That's why it's so important to always be skeptical of unsolicited messages, even if they appear to come from someone you know or trust. Take a moment to pause and think before you respond. Never click on links or share personal information without first verifying the sender's identity. If you're unsure, contact the person or organization directly using a trusted method, not the contact details provided in the suspicious message. If something feels off, even if you can't explain why, trust your instincts. It's better to be cautious than to become a victim. Social engineering turns your trust into a weapon against you. Don't let scammers exploit your good nature. Stay alert, question everything, and remember that it's okay to say no or to double check. Protect your personal information as carefully as you would lock your front door at night. Your digital life deserves the same level of security as your home. Hackers don't need to trick you directly. They can use number lookup tools. These services can reveal your name, address, email, and social media profiles from just your phone number. Suddenly, 
your entire online presence is mapped out for them. This info can be used for harassment or stalking, blurring the line between digital and real life. Our data is everywhere, often without our consent. You can't erase your digital footprint, but you can manage it. Be selective about where you share your number. Regularly review your privacy settings on all accounts. Assume public info can and will be found. Control what you can. Limit your exposure. SIM swapping is one of the most damaging attacks. Hackers trick your mobile provider into transferring your number to their SIM card. Suddenly, they get your calls, texts, and two-factor codes. With this access, they can reset your passwords and take over your accounts. Even high-profile figures have fallen victim. The best defense? Add a PIN or password to your mobile account. Call your provider and set up extra verification. This simple step can block most SIM swap attempts. Don't wait until it's too late. Secure your number now. Your digital life depends on it. Malware and spyware are direct threats. Hackers trick you into installing malicious software. It can arrive via suspicious links, fake apps, or infected files. Once installed, hackers can read your messages, access your photos, track your location, and even activate your camera or mic. Never click on links or download attachments from unknown sources. Only install apps from official stores. Keep your phone and apps updated for the latest security patches. Vigilance is your best defense. A little caution goes a long way. Don't let your device become a spy in your pocket. Stay protected, stay alert. Now let's talk solutions. First, enable two-step verification on WhatsApp, a six-digit PIN only you know. This blocks attackers, even if they get your number. Next, adjust your privacy settings. Limit who can see your profile photo, status, and last scene. The less strangers see, the safer you are. Minimize your digital footprint. Finally, call your mobile provider and add a port out password or high security pin. This makes SIM swaps much harder. These steps take minutes but offer powerful protection. Don't wait for a breach, act now. Security is about layers, every step counts. Share these tips with friends and family. The more people who know, the safer we all become. Take control of your digital life. Your security is in your hands. We've covered a lot, but don't leave feeling afraid. Leave feeling empowered. The digital world is always changing, but awareness is your best tool. Stay curious, cautious, and critical of what you see online. Take privacy seriously and never stop learning. Your safety is worth the effort. You control your digital story. Thank you for joining this important conversation. Stay aware, stay safe, and stay empowered. See you next time.